I recently came across a funny quote about design that goes like, good design is like a refrigerator. When it works, no one notices, but when it doesn't, it stinks. And I totally agree with this code because when design is working, you usually don't really notice it, but when it doesn't, you sure do. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five UI UX mistakes that designers make in their mobile apps and how to actually avoid them. Number one, small font sizes. Now this is really important because when you're working with font on a mobile device, it can get tricky because although phone screen sizes are increasing in size, a lot of designers are still using smaller font sizes that are meant for smaller screen sizes. So next time we're working on a UI, consider upping your font sizes by a few pixels and create more white space in order to add more breathing room instead of trying to cram more into your UI, which brings us to mistake number two overstuffing your UI. Now, I know that there's this mentality that the less pages you have for a user interface, uh, the better or the more efficient your design can be. And while that's true to some degree, taking things a little bit too far might actually end up confusing your users by putting too much information, too many buttons, or too much call to action in one single page. That's why we have multi-page applications using tab bars and menus in order to differentiate your screens. And so I always recommend giving each single page a maximum of two to three call to actions so that you don't confuse your users with too many options, rendering that single page less useful. Mistake number three is creating inaccessible call to action buttons. Now, this is important because when we're working with mobile devices, as mobile devices are getting larger and larger, you have more options on where to place your buttons as a designer. However, there's still an optimal spot on the screen where you should place your important call to actions. Now, I'm not talking about a profile button or something that a user is not normally going to click, but we're talking about your main call to action button, but whether that's creating a booking, uh, confirming an order, and so on. I've seen a lot of designers put these main call to action buttons in the center of the screen or even worse at the very top, which makes it inaccessible to the user's thumb. Since most of us use our thumbs to select items on the screen, there's even a little diagram that shows where the optimal space is on the mobile device for you to actually place your main call to action buttons. I personally like to place my main buttons on the lower part of the screen where it's easily accessible by the user's thumb. Mistake number four, and I've seen this countless of times, especially with designers that are trying to take things a little bit too far, and that's by creating a really unique or different UI. Now, I understand you want your design to be different, you want it to be unique and tailored to you or your client's needs, but not always do you have to actually invent a new tab bar or a new navigation bar or introduce crazy animations into your application. While those can be cool, most users are already familiar with certain UI that their phone's operating system already provides. So if most of Apple's applications are using the standard navigation bar, there's really no need to design a new navigation bar for your application. Now, of course, this doesn't mean you shouldn't do it, but it's just more time taking and it doesn't necessarily serve a better purpose or make your design stand out. Sometimes these really new design could even confuse users further and make it more difficult for them to actually navigate throughout the mobile app. So I personally like to, you know, tweak the design a little bit and use the same framework uh, that Apple or Android's design system provides when designing for a mobile app. And trust me that this actually saves a lot of time for you as a designer as well. Lastly, mistake number five is adding too much friction to your user experience. Now, what does friction mean? Well, friction is when you add too many layers or ask too much upfront from your users or your customers in your application uh, before they've completed an action. Let's say the goal of your mobile app is to sign up a user uh, to use your e-commerce platform and make a purchase. Many applications try to get customers to sign up right away, put their email address, their mailing address, their payment information, their preference in shopping, all of that before they even get to see your application and your products that you offer in your store. Now, the problem with this is that if you do have a potential customer and they have to go through all these steps before browsing your product catalog, you might actually be losing a potential customer simply because the customer might not want to put that much information or commit to that much information before they actually even get to see your product. Now, this is especially more true for a new company or a new product or service that's just new to the market and people might not trust just yet. 
by letting your customers browse your application, browse your products, and when the time comes for them to make a purchase, then slowly introducing them to the information that they need to put, you not only lower the friction by allowing the customer to actually experience your product or your service even faster, but you might actually be increasing your conversion rate and turning more potential customers into sales. So that's my top five mistakes that I've seen in mobile apps. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd like to hear from you. Have you ever seen an application where you thought the design could be improved or there was a certain part of it that could be improved? If so, leave it down in the comments below and I'd love to hear your opinion. All right, thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future UI UX videos. Also, if you're interested in learning how to design full complete mockups for both mobile and web, I've made a six hour complete design course with Figma and you can check that out in the link below. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video here at Clever Studio.